Hi everyone, I'm Steve with B&H Photo and we're here today at NAB 2014 with Mark Weir from Sony with the new Alpha 7S. Mark, thanks for talking to us today. Great to be with you here today, Steve. Tell me something about the sensor of that camera. So this is a new full frame 12 megapixel sensor optimized for sensitivity and dynamic range up to 409,000 ISO, but equally important, it can also reach down to 50 ISO, and it can capture a range from highlight to shadow, which is really quite exceptional for both still and video photography. It's got exceptional dynamic range because with just 12 megapixels on a full frame sensor, we have very, very large photo sites that can gather tremendous amounts of light. And what's the mount on this? So we use our E-mount, which has a very short flange back just 18 millimeters here. So we can use our native E-mount lenses. We have five full frame E-mount lenses. Plus, through the use of adapters, you can use numerous other lenses uh, from different mounts. And we're showing a variety of different mounts here at NAB, including Canon and Zeiss, uh, CP Primes. And that uh, leads me to another point, which is its video capability. Right, I was about to get into the video capability. So it's full frame, and this camera does 4K, is what I hear? Absolutely. With the full frame sensor at 12 megapixels, with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, we can have just the right number of pixels for 4K capture. Indeed, it becomes the first camera that can use a full frame image sensor and use the full width of the image sensor for 4K capture. That means we can read out each pixel directly. There's no line skipping, there's no pixel binning, so we have exceptional video quality together with the amazing dynamic range and sensitivity. So it's a spectacular camera for still photographers who would want to take advantage of its sensitivity and dynamic range, but even more so, it has spectacular capabilities for video capture, both in full HD and 4K because of the full frame sensor from which we're reading out every pixel directly. So I can record HD, full HD, within the camera. If I want 4K, how does that come out of the camera? Well, we set up this camera for 4K output on its HDMI, 422 8-bit 4K for use with an external recorder, and then we have full HD with XAVCS and AVC HD capability, high bit rate video in, for internal recording. We did this on purpose because we wanted to maintain the form factor of the camera. It's the world's smallest and lightest full frame interchangeable lens camera, and we didn't want to uh, compromise the appeal of its size and weight advantages for still photographers while we were accommodating the 4K. Who is ideal for this camera? Well, anyone who wants to shoot 4K with the benefit of a full frame image sensor and direct pixel readout, because there really are no options that can accomplish that in any other camera. The low light and wide dynamic range capability of the video capture is really quite exceptional. And to show what we can do with the camera, we've set up this rig here. So what we have here, Steve, is an Alpha 7S set up in a rig um, for 4K recording. We have it set up here with a Zeiss uh, Compact Prime 85 lens together with a matte box. But most interesting here is we have an Atomus Shogun. This is a new external 4K recorder which allows you to have HDMI input to record the 4K. It's really one of the very first external recorders that can take HDMI in directly for 4K recording. And this is an example of the full flexibility of how you can set the camera up for high-end uh, production in 4K. So we're talking about a complete solution ready to go Sure. It's a very flexible camera. Obviously, we're setting it up with a rig with external XLR recording capability as well as the external 4K recording capability. But it's important to realize that you're starting with just a palm-sized camera, the smallest and lightest full-frame interchangeable lens camera available. So you have tremendous flexibility whether you're looking for a high-end production or just in-the-moment street photography. And speaking of flexibility, we can use our E-mount lenses. This is a 2470 uh, F4 Carl Zeiss lens. Here's an example of a cinema lens. This is a Zeiss CP Prime in native EF mount. So this can be used on the camera. In fact, we saw this type of a lens on the rig over here. So these are made for the full frame E-mount. 
And you said it's a very short flange focal distance, so adapters are possible. Yeah, just 18 millimeters from the lens mount to the sensor is what makes it possible. And here's an example of a Metabones adapter on a Canon EF 24-70 f2.8 lens. So this is just as much at home on this camera. So depending upon the glass that you own, you can adapt a variety of different lenses to the camera with these adapters simply because the distance from the mount to the sensor is so short. So it's really a tremendously flexible system. You've got the high performance sensor, you've got the very small camera body fully equipped for both still and video shooting, and you've got the versatility of lens mount. And in addition to all that, Sony now is releasing a few extra things for the system. Very much so, Steve. At NAB, we're showing a prototype of a new lens that we're designing for the E-mount, and you'll see it right here. This is a 28 to 135 f4 constant aperture lens for cinema use. It's got a servo zoom. And the servo, that's not on the normal ENG side. Right, it's on the lens itself, so that it has tremendous versatility, and it's actually a multi-speed servo. You can adjust the response of the servo speed uh, to match your shots. And then what's this over here? So this is a new um, XLR mic kit in compact size. It's a variant of a model that we currently have, but the important part of this XLR kit is it brings balanced audio directly into the camera, right up to the record preamps. There's no compromise to uh, shift to uh, unbalanced when you plug it into the camera. It actually transfers balanced audio all the way into the camera to uh, record high performance audio with XLR. So Mark, thanks a lot. And I'm Steve from B&H Photo at NAB 2014.